Uh, so let me show off some stuff. Here's my Lord Croak that I have now uh, built and primed. He's ready to go. Great guy. He's uh, partially dead. <laughs> yeah, let me see. He's got a crazy throne too. Maybe if I can like, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, it's kind of hard because right now he's like all wraith bone, so it's kind of hard to see. Plus the lights hitting him. Uh, he's a great guy. <laughs> Very strong. Then I've got the, uh, I think it's Gordrak, is that his name? Whatever the orc dude is that's on top of the Maw Crusher. Here he is. I was painting, I started painting his weapons and then some of the skull stuff. Uh, let me do the hand. I should pop it. Uh, uh, there he is. Kind of see it now. Yep. Whoop, 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 whoop. It's not super focused, but good enough. Then there's the, oh my god. Then there's this guy. <laughs> the guy he rides on. So it goes like... Uh, hold on. He's the big boy, yep. Yeah. So he's, uh, he goes like this. I haven't glued him yet because, you know, I'd like to paint them both separately. But he goes like that. So, more like that. That's how he's supposed to look with the guy on top of him. So that's going to take a while <laughs> to actually paint, but I have a while. <laughs> so I'm not starting on him yet. I'm kind of doing all the other stuff. Uh, kind of doing him first. Uh, then... Here's my orc war chanter, I think he's called. He's a war chanter. So I'm goo I'm doing the orcs right now. I'm gooing the orcs. They're getting gooey. There's the war chanter. I mainly just did skull stuff so far. Eh, hold on. Why is it so bad at like There it is. Boom, look at that. That focus. Powerful. Uh, and then. I still have to paint my Engine of the Gods, which is right here. I painted the dinosaur guy, kinda, but I have to do his other scales, the darker blue, kinda like the Bastilodon. And then, paint the top of this. And, uh, I did one Boar Boy, who's almost done. Here's the Boar Boy. Check him out. I think he turned out alright. That's the boar boy. Uh, I should just get one of those fans they use for heat. Hold on. Oop. I still have to color in his teeth and like some other stuff, but for the most part, he's like done. So he's a boar boy. <laughs> and uh, I think that's most of it. It, yeah, the camera really wants to focus on my hand. <laughs> uh, how much do those models cost? Uh, well, most of the orc stuff I got sent by Games Workshop. But I'm pretty sure the giant ass dragon plus the orc guy is like a hundred. Uh, and then this guy was part of the start collecting. 10 boar boys? I think it was like 50 bucks. Uh, I started on the shaman, but I don't really like how he looks. I feel like the skin's a little, like, too green, and the I don't really like the purple. I was like, I'll try a purple-pinkish color, and I don't like that, so I'll probably paint over that. Da-da-da-da-da-da. <laughs> um. How long does it take you to paint, like, a small dude? Uh, it kind of depends. Like, uh... I don't know. Maybe, in terms of, like, a small dude, like, these skinks I just threw some contrast paint on, and, like, the staff, that only takes... not very long. <laughs> you gotta do a lot of them. 
Like this boar guy, like he's kind of a smaller guy, but he took about, maybe the boar took like 15 to 20 minutes, and then he took like with the skin and all the little things like 30, maybe like an hour for like one boar guy. I'm sure there's probably people that do it faster than that, but I take my time. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, I should probably tweet that I'm live. I tweeted that I'm going live, like, forever. Hold on. <laughs> I'll tweet that I'm live. stuff. I got like ripper dactyls, I got like croxagores, I got a bunch of temple guard that need to be painted, but I kind of want to work more on the, one of the bigger guys. So I don't know who I want to paint. There's, I can work more on this guy. I can work on the engine thing, or I can paint like the top of the Bastilla down. Or I do Lord Croak, or I do the War Changer guy. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, if you want to see something, <laughs> vote now. Um, yeah, I don't know. Hmm. I kind of want to work on the Bastilla now. Actually, maybe I'll do like some parts of the, uh... That, of the, uh, Engine of the Gods. And then do some Bastilla on. That might be good. Mm, yeah. You know what, let's do that. So usually I do this and then I put like I guess I can put either a Keelian green or Ultram or Talisar blue. So there's Ultramarine blue. Keelian green. Pterodon turquoise. Is it Pterodon turquoise? Keelian green. All right. D-Mart with the 200 bits. Whoop! <laughs> Sup, gamer? What's up, D-Mart? How are you doing today? Yeah. Oh, listen to that power shake, man. That's three paints in one. All right. So, uh, I have some, like, Stormcast guy that I use, that I got for free, that I just use to, like, test paints on. So I'm gonna test paints on. Alright, let's see. So this one's a Keelian green, which is kinda like a blue. Uh yeah, we're gonna be playing Spyro tomorrow, so that should be fun. It'll probably start around, like, 5 p.m. my time? Probably like 5 or 6, which would be 6 or 7 Eastern. One of those. <laughs> okay, tear down turquoise. Can we see the gas mask? I don't even have it yet. It hasn't even gotten here yet. Do -do 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 -do. Let's Thanks. try the Pterodon Turquoise. Uh, oh, that's a green, alright. Dude, that feels like... This feels like more green... ...than the Achillean Green. <laughs> alright, I'll see. 
I use a Keeling Green for my Alpha Legion. It's a good color. Yeah, I actually like it a lot. And then, uh, sometimes I like going crazy with the blue. This one. So let that dry a bit. Your latest fishing with Krendor had a lot of intriguing questions. How many of them did you think beforehand versus on the spot listening? I realize your interview skills are very sharp. Props again. Hey, thanks. I think of all the questions on the spot. I, uh, the only questions I come prepared with are how did you get into video games? Like, what games did you play? And then how'd you get into World of Warcraft? Those are pretty much the only two questions I go in prep to ask. The rest of it I just improv. Because I like the I like when it's like a flowing conversation, you know? Like when you, the reason I started it, the biggest thing was, I would listen to these interviews people would do and it'd be like, they'd have their list of like 20 questions. They'd be like, how'd you get into this thing? And then they'd be like, oh, you know, back in the day, I got really into, uh, I don't know, uh, Rise of Nations, and they were like, oh man, I just, I loved Rise of Nations, I'd play it all the time, blah blah blah, and they'd go off on Rise of Nations, and the interviewer's like, uh-huh, uh-huh, very cool. Anyway, next question, it's like, hold on, why don't you ask them about Rise of Nations? They clearly love Rise of Nations, so like, follow it up a bit, you know? So, I think that's just the best way to interview, interview is just be curious and kind of ask about what that person seems to be passionate about. Um, and that's what I do. <laughs> I've done it for 50 episodes at this point. Ender with the six months. Can't wait for Spyro tomorrow. Hell yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sorry. Thank you for the six months. All right. Uh, so actually, yeah, the Pterodon turquoise ends up being more green and the Achillean green ends up being more blue and then the, the Talisar blue is like blue um, so I think I'm just gonna go Achillean green not even lying I just I think I've did that for my other dinosaur things so I think I'm just gonna roll with it I took a class in college one of the greatest interviewers of all time would do exactly that I mean yeah Honestly, interviews are just conversations that are recorded. And anytime you have a conversation with somebody, if they're like, let's think about you're having a conversation with someone, right? And they're just like, so, uh, you know, back and forth. And you're like, so how's, uh, how's school going? And they're like, oh, it's great. You know, I just started taking a psychology class and I've just been learning a lot. And instead of being like, oh, that's really cool. What are you learning? You're just like, uh-huh, great. So what else are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's like it just interrupts the the flow of everything life's about flow man uh, all right so let's see how this looks down here oh uh, yeah that's what I'm talking about oh yeah that's the good stuff that's the good stuff right there I give another shake real quick. Thanks. Another little bloop. Thanks. More. Oh yeah. Oh like Bap up over here. That's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. I really like putting colors over colors with contrast paints. Because, especially with Lizard Men, it just looks more reptilian, I guess. Okay. 
Nice. Yeah, I like that. Um, I kind of see it. Jintan YS with the five, three months. I read that as a five. Thank you for the three months. Jintan, one, two, three. Smart. Thank you for the three months. Uh, right now I'm doing a bunch of gray overcoats. That's, uh, that's not exciting. <laughs> But you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> Get up inside there a little bit. Uh, okay, make sure I don't touch the uh, old post thing that's built into them. If you didn't see on Twitter, I, uh, I tweeted how I bought a respirator mask. Yeah. Mainly because I bought those, like, really thin paper masks, and it, like, gets rid of the fumes smell, and it stops, like, particles and shit, but, like, it doesn't stop the actual gas from, like, being breathed in. And I'd rather not breathe in aerosol fumes. Uh, so I bought a respirator thing. Uh, okay. You know, it's not like I was... It's not like I was priming every day or something, but... I'd rather be safe than sorry. Alright, let's get his, uh... Head area. Otherwise known as the head. <laughs> Shouldn't you paint the skinks before you glue them to the engine? Plus, I'm like, I mean, you can. I'm not a master painter, so I don't really care. It's like, if it looks kind of wonky because I didn't glue it on first or whatever, like, I don't mind. Okay. But. That's just me. Some other people are kind of picky with it, but I'm not really. In my mind, they're just skinks. <laughs> They're just skinks, man. Just uh, keep going. So yeah, cause I mean, there's like, you know, some people prime like all the time. I mean, there's painters who probably paint every day and they're like, ah, I don't need a mask. And it's like, uh, <laughs> I don't know about that. Looking all right. He's looking pretty good. Let's be careful around his horns. And there's like the people. Then there's the people who just like, it's <laughs> like, why would I wear a mask, man? I smell that. I huff that shit in. It's like, uh, <laughs> all right. Getting to the point though where I'm gonna be able to do the battle report idea that I've been wanting to do for a while. Now that I actually have like a lot of painted and built stuff. Okay. I'm gonna just 
paint that at all in there. Looking, uh, looking all right. Uh, well, I'm in the zone right now. A little bit, a little bit. Very nice, very nice. I got it, I got it. them up by part of his like drawing paint parts um boop, 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 boop. Ooh. i wish i had a respirator mess they look useful and i get sick yeah i think uh they're probably <laughs> they're probably pretty useful uh, some guy was saying that they've improved aerosol stuff over the years but Oh, no, I still, uh, I still don't trust it. <laughs> still don't trust it. A bit there. Let's get some more in here. Oh yeah, he's missing a uh, big flag because it broke off. <laughs> so I gotta glue it back on. I gotta use like super glue this time. It's alright. Okay. Hmm. Alright, I gotta get his sides a little bit. my aerosol priming outside kind of worry about the glue though well i do it outside anyway i prime outside but i just want to be extra safe you know <laughs> as a uh, hypochondriac the glue that's actually kind of worried me a bit too just because the glue does smell it smells like nail polish remover or whatever that is uh i forget what it's called I think the biggest thing with the glue is just using it in like a ventilated area. So like having a fan on or opening a window or just something where it's breaking it up a bit. Acetone, that's the one. That's the one. Uh, it's not bad. Brant Warder with the 36 months. Oh my god. Thank you, Brant Warder. For the 36 months, three years. Put some Crendor Skittles, Mama Mia Zayas, Wow, he's Mama Mia Meatball Nerds in the chat. For Brant. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 24, 25, 26. Sorry. Thank you for the 36 months. Wait, did I freeze? Uh oh. <laughs> Am I frozen? <laughs> I think I'm frozen. Hold on. I'm frozen on mine. Hold on. Hold on. Or is it just my screen? It is just my screen. Oh, it's just my screen. Never mind. Woo! Alright. <laughs> Ugh. 
Okay. Never mind. Um. Yeah, my stream was frozen. It was just me. Uh, but yeah. The fumes got to me, yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's get the paint going here. Alright. You just don't want to, uh... Uh, overboard being like blah 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 just kind of making sure I don't hit anything else so I like the look of the scales popping out a bit more than the skin Question is the gray color of these models a primer? Is that just the color of the Games Workshop movies? No, it's a primer. So these guys are all wraith bone primed. Uh, the Bastilodon's actually gray seer primed. So if you look at like the unpainted part, you can actually kind of tell the difference between the two. They're pretty similar, but oh wait, now you can see it. <laughs> so one's more, one's a little grayer, one's more bone-ish. And then there's also the uh, black primer, which I do for, that's what I did at first, but I've swapped over to like Wraith Bone and Gray Seer full on. Uh. <laughs> Just cause I think they make the colors pop a little more. Plus you have to use them for contrast. like I need to just <laughs> finish building everything and then just paint you know so I just have so much shit <laughs> and to be like all right once I'm done building my orc stuff I need to just stop <laughs> and just paint it'll be easy because then it'll be cold weather and it's harder to prime in cold weather so I'll just like paint in the winter <laughs> mm. you paint 40k as well I do not I only do Sigmar Mainly because 40k doesn't interest me that much. Uh, maybe it will at some point. But I just, uh, I just like fantasy. Oh god, oh, oh god I hit the bone. Oh god. Alright, just quick, 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 quick. Do that. Okay, got that. Quick dry. Plus there's like so many old models that I still need to paint as well, like all my old Saurus warriors from like three months ago and everything. On emergency, uh... Emergency bone clearing. 
get off of here. I just paint over that with something else later, so it's not too bad. Uh, I build like 50 at a time, prime them all, paint batches of 5 to 8. That's pretty good, honestly. What up, comrade? How are you doing tonight? You drinking anything? Uh, yo, I gotta like... Get in here now. I'll paint inside. Mm -hmm. Let's still it up. Just got back from a Nerf Bay. Oh, birthday party, drinking wine and other spirits prior. Nice. Very nice. Uh, but yeah, I just prefer prefer fantasy stuff, so that's why I, I've never been a big sci-fi person. I say it all the time, but like, I've just never been like, oh yeah, spaceships, oh yeah, like gun, like sci-fi gun, I don't know. Even though it's sci-fi fantasy, like a mixture, it's just, I just prefer old school, like bows, arrows, swords, magic, and all that. He's coming together nicely. Super detail. like the top plates now and stuff, but I could do that a different color. Uh, 
Ayala Deer at the four months. Uh, Ayala Excite. Thank you, Ayala Deer, for the four months. One, two, three, four. Foot. Thank you for the four months, Ayala Deer. I like both, but I want to get a Yanara 4K on if that my money between two. Also, nice paint jobs. Hey, thanks. Yeah, I can understand that. I also had some CBD gummies I made drift off to sleep. All right, well, if you disappear, I know where you are, asleep. <laughs> Yeah, what's nice about it, I think, I've seen a lot of people getting into Age of Sigmar, actually. So that's pretty neat. You can have smaller armies, too. <laughs> uh, I've seen even a lot of 40k people getting into it being like, hey, it's pretty neat. So that's always cool. Because it's very similar to 40k, but it also has uh, a lot of differences. Uh, apparently there's not as much shooting. From what I've heard, it's a lot more melee combat stuff and magic. Do I play or paint? I do both. I, uh, I've actually played about seven or eight Sigmar games at this point, so I know what I'm doing. So I want to make, like, goofy battle report, non-content style battle reports at this point. So I think that'd be fun. And a fun way to help people learn, too. Um, so I pretty much, I have, like, one 2,000-point list where it's, like, Lord Croak... Chilling out. He's like 460 points or something. And then I have my Slan. Uh, so that's like two... He's like 260. So him and the Slan together are like 700 points. So that's already 700 points in two units. And then uh, you gotta bring the Cogs. Because if the other Slan casts the Cogs, he gets an extra spell. So then between the two, you get eight spells. Uh, and so Croak does all the like AoE damage magic. And then the Slan does all the Conjuring. So, you get 12 points of Conjuring from the Slan if you only do Conjuring. Then you get 1 for being a Slan General on the field. And then you get plus D3 from the Astrolith Bear. So you can get like... Uh, 12, 13... You get like 16 Conjuration points in a turn. Which is uh, kind of insane. <laughs> so... It's pretty neat, and then you just build the, and you just surround them with Temple Guard, and you put your big dinosaurs, and you just protect the, uh, protect the wizards, essentially. So it's a fun way to play. Uh, let's see. Do I want to do that? Actually, maybe I'll do, like, some little dots. Here. Tiny little bit. Yeah, so I've actually gotten one spell off twice where it's really strong. Uh, which, uh, so here's a croak spell. It's like an asteroid comet thing. And it casts on a 7. But if you get a 10 plus... It uh, gets a super cast, essentially. So, um, what it does is if you do 7 to 9 and get it off, you can pick D3 units, and they suffer D3 mortal wounds. And if you get a 10+, plus, you pick D6 units, and they suffer D3 mortal wounds. So, I, the best I got was I rolled a 5 on the d6 and a 3 on the d3 so five of his units suffered d3 mortal wounds which is kind of insane that's like wiping out giant chunks of armies just from one spell that was one spell and it doesn't even have to be envisioned of anything so that's uh, the power of the croakinator uh, let's see am i missing stuff I might make this one... Where's my test guy? I might make that like the, uh... 
royal blue one at the top, and then a Keelian green. Or Talisar blue. Alright. I'm proud to say I understood most of that. Nice. About three weeks ago, I would have understood none of that, and now I'm like a full-on Warhammer nerd. <laughs> Go. We're gonna make his top thing really bright. Just cause I really like this blue. Liberating anything today. Uh, we'll do the Paradigm Turquoise. Actually, no, I'll probably get that at the bottom. Then we'll do the Thanks. Ultramarine Blue right after. <laughs> ASMR. Shake it up. Call with the nine months. Thanks. Hey, Krender, can I see the Lizard Men team in Blood Bowl? Hell yeah. It's gonna be good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Swag. Thank you for the nine months. I primed Thanks. all my uh, Blood Bowl dudes that I built on stream. There's the uh, chameleon. Rearing to go. Thanks. You didn't focus very well. <laughs> Dmart with the five gifted subs. Thank you, Dmart. Laughing Cat gets a sub. Swig. Mule Bob gets a sub. Swig. Lyurum gets a sub. Swig. Zigzar gets a sub. Swig. And Put Mana gets a sub. Swig. Thank you for the five gifted subs, Dmart. A real gamer guy. <laughs> More ASMR coming in. And the last, do a little Achillean green, or Pterodon Turquoise. It looks the most green, so I keep thinking it's green. Yeah. 
Yeah. Nice. It's got like the triple back collar. I kind of like that. So he's uh, looking all right. Uh, the Queen, Bowsette with the five months. He told you I would resub, keep up the Warhammer stuff. Thank you very much, the Queen, Bowsette. I very much will be keeping up Warhammer stuff. One, two, three, four, five. Swing. There are the five months. Uh, wow, we. Bugar, 130 bits. May I take your order, sir? <laughs> yeah, I'll have uh, two Pterodon turquoises. One Achillean green and a small fry. Uh, doo -doo. All right. So, I think he looks pretty good. I think the rest of the stuff I could probably use normal paint, except the skinks. I'll probably do contrast on the skinks. In fact, I'm gonna do it right now. So, <laughs> I'll do a Talisar blue skink. This is the engine of the gods. Ending my night with wine and olives as a snack. That's a great snack. <laughs> mm -hmm. um. <laughs> I ordered the Battle Tome Cities of Sigmar. Can't wait to collect some classic Empire Army. Nice. I actually have the orc one right here. For when I do my orc stuff. That's why I got the, uh... He's Gotrek? Gork? No, not Gotrek. He's, uh... Pfft. Can't remember his name. He rides on Big Boy. <laughs> Big Boy! So that's gonna take about a year to paint. <laughs> Alright, skink time. I love this blue. It's like one of my favorite colors in contrast. I don't use contour paints. You mean contrast paints? So that's what I'm using right now. Contrast, yeah. Contrast is really good for things that have uh, places for the paint to go. So, like, um, scales. <laughs> so it can, like, get in between all the scales and everything. It's good for things like boars, because there's a bunch of little hairs and stuff for it to seep into. It's good for skulls. The skull contrast paint is actually amazing. Um, like, here's my Lord Croak stuff. This is literally just all skull paint. I just color in the skulls. Oh, you can see it. So the skulls and the bone all look really good. That's literally just one coat 
of contrast paint on it. The skeleton horde contrast paint. So yeah, it's uh, very nice. <laughs> and then for a lot of other things, uh, I like to just mix and match. Like for example, I tried doing contrast on this weird knob, Orc Shaman. Like this is all contrast, and I just didn't like it. Like I feel like, I just don't like the pink color. I feel like the Orc Green's a little too green. Smoke looks kind of okay, but I feel like it needs more. So it's like, some things it just doesn't look good with. So I'm probably gonna repaint him. Yeah, but it's really nice for a lot of stuff. This is the Coach Crendor. That's some Victor talks about. You would be correct. We just gotta get his head. the first painting stream I've managed to catch, so it's fairly soothing. Hey, glad you like it. <laughs> See you later, comrade. Have a good sleep. I guess, hey! the Iron Jaws box off your store the other day, what do you recommend as far as which paints to get? Uh, I mean, depends what color scheme you want to do, like there's a billion paints. I'd say, uh, I'd say, uh, you gotta prime them, 
And then, if you're gonna do contrast, probably like skeleton. I'd definitely get the skeleton horde one. Orc flesh is not great, because I feel like it's too dark. Uh, so I might do different greens on it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it just depends what color scheme you want, honestly. I'd say the best thing to do is just look up YouTube videos. That's like all I would do. I found this color scheme by just looking at YouTube videos and some guy's like, I used Aether Blue with a Kaelian Green. And I was like, dude, that looks legit. And I did it. <laughs> if you use contrast paints, you have to prime them like a Wraith Bone, a Gray Seer, or like a lighter color though. That's like a definite thing you need to know. I actually like doing these shields with the... Where is it? Is it Nas Greg? No. Maybe not. Is it Fire? Flush Tears Red? I think it was Flush Tears Red. Or was it the Orch? Oh god. Thanks. Rifthound Orange. It's like I'm trying both. Alright. <laughs> Let's see. Here's the orange. I try contrast for them. Did a few Death Guard Marines out of the start painting box. Yeah, honestly, co like, contrast is really nice for just, like, doing this type of thing. Like, I did all this in contrast, right? And then I'm gonna probably do a couple other things in contrast, and then I'm gonna paint the rest normally with, like, normal paints. I mean, when people are like, oh, contrast, like, you don't have to do an entire thing with just contrast, you just mix and match. Uh, I think that's the best use for it. Be a little too red. I like the orange. Or actually, you know what? Maybe it was the non dreg yellow. Or it have been yellow. I gotta keep checking. Alright, hold on. Woo. Captain Kuchek, seven months. Hi, nerd. What up, Captain? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They were seven months. Let's see. That one. There you go. Shake the devil. <laughs> I think it's definitely this orange. I'll do that. Alright. Let's do the orange. Alright. I'm gonna do all these shields. Mm. Grab 
too bad. <laughs> yeah, got a little on there. It's all right. It's not too bad. And the other side. Actually works really well for shields. Uh, at least the lizard shields. I did a couple of uh, other shields with this one that I can actually just show you. Here in a second. Here in a second. Here, like I did a. Uh, this guy's shield with the orange, that looks pretty good. Thanks. So yeah. Pretty happy with it. some of this off. Nice, I did. Uh, some more off. Uh, Phantom Ash with the 25 months. Damn, current direction knows how to paint. Lord help us all. When is painting Warhammer and Ikea stream gonna happen? <laughs> They've been 25 months. Listen, all right, did you see my Microsoft Paint drawings throughout the years? I know how to paint. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 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 shield is right behind it. I keep forgetting I have like other brushes I can use too. But I'm just like, eh, this one's pretty good. So I just keep going with it. It's like a nice in-between brush. Okay. 
God, I gotta get in here. There we go. Thanks. Do that. Do the old twist. smaller brush, but instead, I'm going to not use the smaller brush. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That'll work out. That'll be fine. As long as I don't, uh-oh. <laughs> Is fun. I'm gonna have to play it up a bit. Alright. Woo! Alright, gotta go in. There we go. Contrast comes off really easy since it's like. more of a wash or a shade. That helps a little bit. Mm. I'll move this a little bit more this way. Uh, Spyro starts tomorrow, probably a little earlier than normal. It'll probably start around like six o'clock compared to like 10 o'clock when I normally start. With the 52 months, dude, the Rise of Nations music's a great way to wake up. Crendor Cat Watt. Thank you, Scrot. Oh my god, 52 months. Woo! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. Woo! Thank you for the 52 months. Alright, so I got the shields done. Now. What kind of skink should I paint up here? I'll probably do an orc flesh green Thanks. one. So I think the skinks actually look better than the orcs in this green. It'll be on the front. A little more than that. Ooh, yeah, that's a lot. That get in. Let that get in all over. There we go. Do as much as I can get with the big brush, and then do the rest of them with the little brush later on. But it's good enough for now. Okay, yep. 
up, be up, be up. Yeah. Yeah, it's not too bad. And I can do the other one. Whew. Um Shadow Bomber with the 14 months. I swear I do this every month. You already clapped 13 or 14 times for me, but every time I come to your channel, it does the anniversary pop-up. No need to clap. Keep making that beautiful art. Hey, thanks, dude. I'll give you a snap. Thank you very much for the 14, 13 months. <laughs> Repeatedly. Uh, let's see. So then... I'm gonna do thanks. a purple skink. That'd be good. Here's my... Shyish purple. Uh, what would you say was the easiest, hardest models you've built so far? Uh, it's a good question. Honestly, these Saurus Knights. Oh my God, no! These boar, these boar riders were the hardest thing I built. Saurus Knights were annoying. These were annoying because they're like such old models that you have to like, you have to glue on a leg, the other leg, the chest, the arm, the other arm, the weapon, the shield, the boar head, the boar ear, the boar tusk, the boar thing, the boar leg. And it's like, oh my God, <laughs> come on. It's a little annoying. Cannot aim with the eight months. Hey, Krendor, thanks for the motivation to finish up my Chaos Warriors tonight. Nice, dude. Grats on finishing them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Smart. Thank you for the eight months. Oh, yeah, purple. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I've just, I'd say out of all the things with the hobby, my favorite is probably painting, followed by actually playing the game. I think the game's actually really fun. I like it a lot. Um, thanks. I'm gonna make this guy purple. Then I would say, um, probably cutting out. <laughs> Honestly, I like cutting the things out. I used to not like it, and now I'm like, ooh, I get to cut stuff out. And then probably building, and then priming. I just, I hate priming. Every time I prime something, I'm like, all right, I don't want to be hit with fumes. Even though I'm doing it outside, I'm still like, all right, psh, oh, the wind's blowing, and I'm like, get out of the way. Uh, so I just don't like that. And then I always miss shit, so I'm like, all right, I think I got him, and then I look under, and I'm like, oh my god, I missed that, and then I gotta go be like, psh, psh, and then run back in and be like, all right, how's that look? No, psh. Like, if somebody, I would pay somebody to prime my shit. <laughs> Not even gonna lie. I might even do that. I might actually just pay somebody to prime my shit. But now I have a respirator, so I gotta do it. I invested. Yeah, unlike Twitch priming, priming, which is absolutely free and not full of toxic fumes usually, unless you go into certain Twitch chats, in which case there's gonna be <laughs> there's gonna be some toxic fumes. But as long as you don't like type in there or breathe it in, you should be okay. Uh. This is hard because it's like, I gotta show this off, but I also have to like... Yeah, give me a little bit more purple. Mm. Yeah, if I could, I would just paint and play the game. Those would be my two favorite things to do. I love painting and I love playing it. I didn't think I'd get as into playing the game as I have. Like, I just, I really enjoy playing the game. I wish more of my friends played it. That's part of the reason I wish TB was still around, because I feel like he would definitely play it with me. He'd be all like, oh, 40k, and I'd be like, come play Sigmar with me, and he'd be like, fine, I'll do it, and then he'd be like, ooh. <laughs> he'd probably play like Fire, dude, he'd play Fire Slayers, I know he would. He would play the annoying ass dwarves. a very TB army. 
Run it back, boys, with the nine months. Thank you for the nine months. Run it back, boys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Boy. Thank you for the nine months. Yeah, dwarves and fire. Two of his favorite things. Maybe he'd play corn. He'd probably play something where, like, he'd be able to play it in 40k and Sigmar, so he'd be like, ah, oh, I can play this in both of them, so it's a good investment. That's, that's what he would do. Yeah, corn demons. He'd definitely play that. All right. Twist Jesse's arm into playing against you on tabletop sim. He would not do that. That's still too much. He would not learn. There's so many things he would have to learn. He can barely learn Blood Bowl, let alone, let alone like an actual full-on like tabletop board game thing. I guarantee he would not. <laughs> she would not. Uh, how do I get in there? Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. There we go. There we go. There it is. purple guy, we got the purple blue, and then I'm gonna do one yellow guy. Which is actually the yellow green, because it's the Plague Bearer Flesh. Warhammer harder to learn than D and D. Uh, I mean, I've never played like miniature D and D. I've only played like, you know, being on a show with a DM D and D. So I don't know how much different that is. Skink guy that isn't the skink priest. Ooh and he's easy to paint. Cause he's literally just uh leaning over the edge. So that's nice. <laughs> Compared to some of the other ones. A little bit down here. Mm. This is where I try to use my uh, shaky hands to my advantage. I'll just like put my hand somewhere and then just be like, <laughs> just let it go to work. Get the 
those skink bicep, those power javelin throws. Okay. And that's pretty good. Press a little underneath. A little on the leg. Alright. A little on the other leg. Mm. Alright. It's good enough for the skinks for now. Yeah, so there they are. Yep. Skinks ready to rock and roll. So I got them on the side. That's how I paint all my skinks. I do like a variety of colors for them. So that they're kind of like, they're kind of like eating actual Skittles. Like every Skittle skink tastes like a different flavor. So when the ogres eat them or whoever eats them, they'll be like, ooh. Lemon lime. <laughs> uh, my music did stop, yes. <laughs> I did just realize that. Uh, but I'm going to be stopping here soon anyway. I wanted to paint this skull over here, though. Mainly because I'm going to be doing the mega stream tomorrow. So that'll be a long one. Where's my skeleton thing? Where's my skeleton thing? There it is. And then Sunday night, we'll do some more painting. That's the plan. Whoop. All right. A little bit of that. And paint this skull. I'm just going to take some off. Just kind of move it around. Let's see if we can get it back around there. Yeah, that's not bad. And that's the little skull on the side painted in. All right. Well, I think it turned out pretty good. Oh, I'll get a little close up here. Yeah, it went to Age of Empires 2 music and then it was like, you're finished listening to this. Or no, it says video pause, continue watching. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with the uh, skink priest on the back. I don't know what color I'm going to make him. So I'm going to think about that before I do it. Um, yeah, here's the uh, what we did so far. So we got the... Move him away. Engine of the gods. Thanks. So he's got all his scales painted in. Kind of looks like cool markings on him now. There's that skink. And then the shields and the other skinks. Thanks. As we slowly rotate. <laughs> Thanks. You got all the different color skinks. And the front. Thanks. He looks uh, pretty good so far. Um, Dmart with another five gifted subs. Frostmaw gets a sub. Swig. Effetin gets a sub. Swig. Loner Archon gets a sub. Swig. Terror Robel gets a sub. Swig. And Chris XPZ gets a sub. Swig. Thank you very much for the five gifted subs, Dmart. 
Thank you for the 10 gifted subs all together, dude. Thank you very much. Um, very much appreciated. So, uh, that's going to be it for tonight. But hey, thanks for watching, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed my chill uh, joy of Warhammer painting. <laughs> if you're new here, click the follow button. Follow along. Be alerted when I go live. I stream Warhammer painting usually on every Sunday. But this week, I've just felt the urge to paint, so I did it on Friday night. So maybe I'll do it twice a week. I probably will. I want to up it because I need to start painting more. <laughs> Uh, and then tomorrow we'll be doing the Spyro Mega Stream, so that should be fun. I've never played it before. We'll see how that goes. Uh, thanks to everybody who subscribed, resubscribed, dropped bits, dropped tips, gifted subs. Thank you very much for all the support. And, uh, I think that's all I got. So thanks again for watching and listening. And hopefully you painted some Warhammer stuff as well. And if you want to check out any Warhammer stuff, uh, you can use the link down in the uh, down below or in the chat, and it'll take you to the Amazon store. And uh, I have a bunch of start collecting kits as well as glue and cutter things and everything you need to start doing the Warhammer uh, stuff. So check that out if you're interested. Uh, and yeah. Okay. Okay. See ya.